make a choice. Like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. telling you you're not good enough. When I think about fighting, I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about situations. I'm talking about circumstances. I'm talking about opportunities that sometimes you have to fight for. Come on life, let's fight, let's go. Come on job, let's go. Come on career, let's go. I'm gonna go to war. That dream is not gonna just sit there and wait for you to come and get it. You gotta chase it, like a man possessed. Me versus Floyd will happen. The final chapter, the, th the thing that might end my career once and for all, or maybe not, maybe I'll continue, who knows. But the thing is, I'm ready to get my redemption one way or another. And if I have to do it in the expense of Floyd, I'm willing to. I would have, and you guys might have noticed that the fight between me and Floyd has been announced and confirmed. Me, Zach, the five and one, um, Prince of Nightmares will be fighting and hopefully getting my redemption against Floyd the Beast, the 0 and 3 boxer. The deji boxer of YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, it's official. He confirmed it. He's he hearted the photo on Instagram. I mean, that doesn't mean he confirmed it, but he told me he's down. So we're gonna do an eight-round boxing match, three minutes each. We're gonna do it at. We're gonna attempt to do it at the Pavilion, and if not, we'll find a different spot. But I'm gonna do everything it takes to do it at the Pavilion. It's gonna be July 25th, 2022. Zach. I want to say I'm proud of you as a person, as a YouTuber, as a man, as a wrestler, as a boxer. I just wanted to let you know real quick. This is going on Zach the Savage channel, so make sure you subscribe. But, um, I just want to let you know this announcement. So, I don't know if you guys saw my Twitter. I'll, put, I'll post, I'll put the post right up here, and I'll put my Twitter in the description so you can follow me. But, I don't know if you saw my Twitter post. Again, I'll post it right here. But I said I have, I will announce my next box, my other boxing opponent tonight, and this is pretty much it. So you guys know how Monday, July 25th, I'm facing Quran, aka Floyd, and then we're having our press conference via video chat the day before on Sunday, the 14th, or the 25th, 
24th, sorry, I can't count. But I was talking to this person today and Elijah has confirmed it. He wants to face me the week after, or after I face Floyd. So one day or one week, I face Floyd the 25th. He wants to meet, he wants to face me next week, the week after that. So in August. Huh. Very interesting. Cause you both aren't boxers. No, I'm not saying I am, but I'm not saying I'm not. I know that I'm better boxers than you. I'm a better boxer than both of you combined. And I rest assure you, come our fights, you guys won't be underestimating me anymore. You won't be belittling me anymore. I will end you both like the end of the world. You guys will be embarrassed that you guys lost to a guy like me, who's smaller, who's weaker, who's shorter, who's older, or who's younger, whatever. And then all your friends and family will be ashamed of you, and you'll be a laughing stock to the boxing sport. Come to the fight or not, you'll be laid down. So were you, Floyd. So I hope you both are actually down to face me in a boxing match. Because I'm sick and tired of being belittled. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a joke. I have done nothing to no one in this world to prove that I'm a joke. I've beaten five opponents. Well, technically I've beaten three, but I've beaten one of them three times. And I'm about to beat him a fourth time in nine days. So y'all really think all of that, all of those fights that I did were jokes? You think, I admit, maybe the training was a little trash. But I upgraded and now I'm better than ever before. And I'm coming for Floyd. I'm coming for Elijah. I'm coming for anyone else out there who keeps treating me like a joke. And I'm going to... I'm gonna punch them in the face so many times with my gloves that they're gonna realize that I'm not a fucking joke. That I'm actually taking this shit seriously. That anyone else wants a shot. I'm down. Now, as we look, now, and I, if we think about it this way, 
Um, he might not. He might not train, and he might not like bust his ass every day training or like preparing himself. But who knows? He might win. Like you, you never know. He